I'm dehydrated. I look like I haven't slept in three days, so uh, my New Year's resolutions are going great. Thanks for asking. Anyways, what is up you guys? It's Katie, and I've got some unpopular opinions. Now I get that everybody has a different opinions about different things, but I thought that I would share a few of mine that I haven't heard that very many other people have. Also the sun is going down, and I feel like the lighting is going to get bad in here, but like... What can you do? Also, if you haven't seen my channel, hi, my name is Katie, and it is really nice to meet you. If you want to join the crew, uh, you can hit the subscribe button down here, or if you wait until the end of the video, there'll be like a little button right there, and you can click it, and it's super easy. It's a good time. So I'm sure that there are other people that have to like feel the same way as me on this, but I really don't like bacon. Now, I get that this one probably like isn't that unpopular, but I feel like whenever I like tell someone that I'm not really a big fan of bacon, they pull one of those like, <gasps> what? things on me and I just think that it's like really funny that everyone feels so strongly about just loving bacon um, and I just can't get on board with that. I'm sorry. The next thing is that I've, uh, I've, I've never seen an episode of Spongebob in my entire life. <laughs> I was never allowed to watch it as a kid and then when my parents just like didn't care anymore I just didn't watch it. And so whenever anybody makes some like Spongebob reference I kind of do one of those like <laughs> yeah I, I know what you're talking about. Okay, so this isn't really like an unpopular opinion thing, but I feel like you either lean really strongly one way or another on this one, and that is like paperback versus hardback books. So personally, I am a paperback person. Whenever I like find a book at Barnes & Noble or Tidal Wave or anything, the first thing that I do is ask the like people who work at the desk, hey, does this come in paperback? Because not only are they usually smaller and easier to just like throw in your bag when you're going places, they generally cost a lot less, which I can appreciate. So I'd love to hear what you guys think, so leave in the comments whether you are a paperback or a hardback person, and if you don't care and you don't read books, you know, honestly, you do you, my friend. Another thing that I feel like really strongly about is when people talk shit about English teachers. Uh, I don't know why, and like, I don't know what it is about English teachers specifically, but whenever anybody says anything bad about them, I just feel like I have to defend them. Because I mean, like, I've had one English teacher that I thought was a little bit weird, but like, I've just, I've never met one that I didn't like. And I think it's like once a week or whatever, they all like meet together during lunch and talk about whatever English teachers talk about, I don't know. But like, I really want to just sit in there and like talk with them and hang out with them and be friends with all of them. I don't even know why. They just seem really, really cool. Oh my god, I'm getting really heated over this. It's like hot. And the last like unpopular opinion that I'm gonna share with you guys is something that I feel like I might get a little bit of shit for, but like I can explain myself, so hold on. Uh, I sleep with socks on. Now, before you say anything, because I feel like everybody has like really strong opinions on this, I can explain myself, so like, hear me out. Now, my feet are just perpetually freezing. They are cold all the time. Like right now, I've got my wool socks on, my feet are still so cold. I've got another pair of socks underneath them and my feet are freezing. I think it started in like fifth or sixth grade when we went on this school camping trip and the cabin that I was staying in like didn't have any heat and it was freezing. And so I slept with like three pairs of socks on and now I just like can't sleep without them. Cause my feet are like always cold and I can't fall asleep with cold feet. It just doesn't work. So it could be like 80 degrees out and I would probably still be sleeping with my socks on because I just, I can't sleep without my socks on. My feet are cold. It's just a thing. Like, I get so sad whenever I see something on Twitter that's like, oh, I don't understand how people can, like, sleep with socks on. That's so weird. Because, like, honestly, I would probably get sick at this point if I, like, tried to fall asleep without my socks. My feet would just freeze up and then I would die. That's dramatic. But, like, sorry. So that is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing down below or by clicking the button right there and letting me know in the comments one video that you would like to see in the future from me because I really want to get onto the schedule of making a video a week but I want to know what you guys want to see so then I can mix that with what I want to make and I just think that we could have like a cool thing going where like I make what you want to see and like I make what I want to see and we can like mix them up and it'll be a good time. So if you haven't subscribed, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye. And I've got some unpopular opinions. That's so dumb. This is empty. <laughs>